Ladies and gentlemen, I am Mohamed Najari. I am student in second year PhD in University of Science and Technology, Houari Boumedien, Algiers, specialty operational research. I have pleasure to be with you in this conference to present my work entitled The Two Stage Chain Reentrant Hybrid Flow Shop Problem with Deteriorating Jobs. First, we present the outline of our work. First of all, we give the definition, notation and illustrative example of our problem. In the second section, we give three considered sub-problems and motivations. In the section number three, we give the approximation resolution methods, the heuristics and the meta-heuristics. Then we present the numerical experiment and we conclude by conclusion and perspectives. We start by giving the definition of our problem. We consider the two-stage chain reentrant hybrid flow shop problem with deteriorating jobs. The shop is composed of two stages, the first of which is a single machine M1, which is the primary machine, whereas the second contains M and related parallel machines. Each job must be firstly be treated on the primary machine M1, which is then treated on one of M machines of the second stage and finally returns to the primary machine to complete its last operation. The aim of our work is the minimization of both of the make span and the total energy consumption. We suppose that the preemption, that the preemption is not allowed and that all jobs are available at time zero. In this slide, we present the illustrative scheme of chain reentrant model. Each job Ji must be treated on M1, which is the primary machine. After that, it must be treated on one of M and related parallel machines, and it returns to M1 for its last operation. We present on this slide the deteriorating jobs. We suppose that all jobs are subjected to deteriorating constraints. Each job Ji possesses a current processing time on a machine Mj, which is linear with respect to its starting time as given by the following formula, where these numbers represent the basin processing time, the deteriorating near ratio, and the initial starting time of the job Ji, respectively. We suppose that the ratios are non-negative. In this slide, we present the total energy consumption. We suppose that the machine MG consumes an energy quantity per unit of time during its treatment. Thus, the energy consumed for the treatment of a job Ji is Pij delta J, and that this energy is increased by, by ratio over time. Then, the total energy consumed by Mj while treating the job Ji is given by the following formula, as you see. And we deduce, finally, that the total energy consumed by all the machines is given by the formula, as you see. We go here to the notation of our problem. According the, to Graham's notation, the general problem is denoted by this notation and it's called the two-stage chain reentrant hybrid flow shop problem with deteriorating jobs. We present on this slide an example. We consider the following problems with four jobs and three machines. The input of the example is presented in the following tables. A feasible solution of the problem P is represented on the Gantt diagram on the figure, with C max equals 29.42 and TEC equals 130.2, where initial processing time represented by colors blue, extra time red, initial energy consumption green, extra energy pink. On this slide, we present the three considered sub-problems. 
we consider three sub problem of our problem of our general problem denoted p1 p2 and p3 and are defined as shown on the following table for example p1 in p1 we consider the deteriorating ratio are independent of the machines mg mj and are strictly positive and we consider that both of the energy consumption and the increasing ratio ratios are strictly positive and we have the corresponding constraint as you see here we present a motivation of our general problem we we have uh, for example a storage zone uh, we have the materials in the storage zone each materials must be treated on the, the primary machine denoted M1 then uh, it must be treated in the ruling zone uh, which, which contains M, M and related parallel machine and it returns to the M1 for its last operation to become a product, a finite product. For example, if we change, uh, if we change the machine M1, uh, which is the primary machine, uh, to the to to the mean to transport means of transport, we have uh, automatically the sub problem P2. If we change M1 by automatically trolley, and if we change the uh, M1 by a manual trolley, we have uh, automatically the sub problem P3. On this slide, we, we present the approximation resolution method. For the resolution of the general problem, we have proposed the coding of the solutions, where each solution is represented by a vector permutation. In order to calculate the values on the mix pen and those of the total energy consumption, we have used a heuristic and have then started the meta heuristics. The heuristics we present here the LS algorithm. Step one, we schedule the jobs on the primary machine M1 according to a given priority list. The second step, in the second step, among N unrelated parallel machine, we choose the least loaded machine and schedule the first available job in, on this machine. And finally, we sketch up again the job on M1 according to the FCFS rules. First come, first serve. We give, we present uh, here the meta heuristics. The two meta heuristics presented are NSGA2, non-dominated sorting genetic algorithm. This meta heuristic, this meta heuristic is a technique based on the selection concepts of individual by generating the populations. The second meta heuristic, which is AMOSA, archived multi objective simulated annealing. This meta heuristic integrates the notion of archive, where the non dominated solutions found in the are stored. We present the first meta heuristic, NSGA2. To implement the NSGA2 algorithm, it is necessary to present firstly two selection principles. The first is the non-domination in the Pareto sense. A solution SI dominates strictly a solution, another solution SJ, if and only if, this formula, as you see, where F1 corresponds to C max and F2 corresponds to TEC. The second principle is the crowding distance. We use the method or we use this method when we are obliged to choose a price, a prices, a prices number of solutions among all of the solutions belonging to the same front. We have here the crowding distance method. We initialize the n number of solution of the same Pareto front. We initialize uh, also the distance equals to zero and uh, we do a sort and we calculate the distance of each solution by this formula. 
by this formula and uh, and that is all we have the nsga2 algorithm we initialize in this algorithm we initialize uh, the variables we generate a randomly initial population p0 of the size l we evaluate the fitness function of each solution after that we do a sort of solution by the non-dominated and the crowding distance in order to obtain the non-dominated groups we create we create in the step 6 we create the children population denoted c by the selection of two parents from the population from the population and by uh, by uh, by generate uh, another uh, population with a crossover and a mutation we evaluate also the fitness function of each solution of the population we do sort in the step as you see in the step uh, 13 we do sort a sort of each solutions by non domination and crowding distance to obtain the non dominated groups and uh, finally we return the, the non dominated groups as you see on the slide we go now to the amosa meta heuristic we present the domination degree the domination degree is defined as follows let a and b let a and b two solutions the domination degree is calculated by the following function as you see we have m equals 2 because of two objective we have two objective the amosa algorithm is presented as follow we initialize the archive the variables the current solution and uh, we initialize the temperature equals t max and uh, we generate a new solution by perturbing by by uh, doing perturbation on the current solution we have three cases we the, the the case the case number one is if uh, current solution dominates new solution in this case new solution receives the current solution with a probability in the case number two uh, step nine in the case number two if current solution and the new solution are non dominated to each other uh, in this case we have a new solution equal to current solution with a probability and if new solution is non dominated by any solution from the archive in this sub case we have new solution receive the current solution we add the new solution to the archive and remove all the solution dominated by new solution from the archive and we pass to the case 3 uh, we have if new solution dominates current solution uh, and here we have uh, two sub case sub case uh, if new solution is dominated by k solution in the archive in this sub case we have current solution receive the solution with the minimum degree with the minimum degree presented before of domination from the archive and uh, in the second uh, sub case we have if a new solution is non dominated by any solution from the archive in this case we we have so new solution receive the current solution we add the new solution to the archive and remove all the solutions dominated by new solution from the archive and we have the end of the algorithm uh, finally we return the archive we have here the numerical experiment we present uh, firstly the pre preliminary test the parameters of the two meta heuristic are chosen by generating a set of 30 randomly of 30 randomly generated instance for different values of n and m for this parameter selection we have conducted we have conducted simulations and have evaluated the result by using an ANOVA analyze at a significance level of 5%. The considered and selected values for the parameters of NSGA2 and AMOSA 
are given in the following tables. For example, if we take uh, the NSGA2 metaheuristic, we have, uh, for example, for the problem general P, we have uh, as parameters, we have number of iteration, size of initial, of initial population, we have uh, probability of crossover and uh, probability of mutation, uh, and we have tested values and the selected values, as you see. We go to the, experiment, to the experimental result of the metaheuristic. We have implemented the, the metaheuristic NSGA2 and AMOSA for the resolution of the problems P, P1, P2, and P3. 8,000 instances are generated for each, va for each values, for each values, uh, for M and N. Classified into four classes. The first class is to M equals to for different values N equals 10, 30, 50, 100, 200. We have considered the evaluation criteria. We have the three, crit uh, three criteria uh, has been considered. The first is the quantity measure, and uh, the second is the quality measure, and the, the, the criteria number three, the criterion number three is the average time. We have the quantity uh, the percentage of the solution potenti uh, poten potentially non-dominated in Z and which is uh, also in Z E star presented by the formula as you see and uh, we denote the quantity measure by uh, Q1 as you see in the formula and uh, the, the, second, uh, the second criterion is the quality measure this measure represents the percentage of the solution in the approximation Z and that are also in Z star, represented by the following formula. And the average time, uh, T average, in seconds. We have, uh, for example, the histogram of uh, the NSGA2 and AMOSA for uh, N equals 2, N equals, N equals 10, uh, we remix for the quantity of uh, criteria Q1 and Q2. We observe that uh, AMOSA. We observe that AMOSA dominate. That AMOSA dominate when n uh, less or equal to 13. Whereas the NSGA2 is better than AMOSA for n greater or equal to 100. Whatever the problem. P, P1, P2, or P3 is. For the value n equal 50, NSGA2 performs better than AMOSA in the case of the problem P and P1, even though AMOSA is better when considered the problem P2 and P3. For the average time, we have uh, AMOSA is considerably faster, in effect, in effect, the highest value observed is 41.07 seconds. We have here a, a figure below represent the, re the reference fr front. Uh, for example, uh, for n equals 10, n equals 2. We have uh, the solution uh, selected by uh, NSGA2 on red, the solution selected by AMOSA on blue, and uh, we have the method, the uh, Topsis method. After the use of the Topsis method, the solution, solution, solution three, three is selected as the best one. We conclude by conclusion. In this work, we have studied the B objective problem called the two stage Chenrian hybrid flow shock problem with deteriorating jobs. This problem is MP hard. A motivation and an example of the general problem P have been presented. We have uh, considered the problem P and the three sub-problems P1, P2, P3. For the resolution of these problems, 
we have proposed a list algorithm and two meta heuristic NSGA2 which is which are NSGA2 and AMOSA which have been compared empirically we then have used the top six method to determine to determine the best solution from the Pareto front according to the decision makers preference in the future it is interesting to investigate deploy this work by the use of exact methods such as branch and bound and dynamic programming methods and thank you for your attention.